Hi, you guys. Hello, hello. I have a very important topic to talk to you about today. Getting a late start to my day. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. with the complete introduction to a book I'm writing downloaded into my head. And so I got up and I wrote it. <laughs> so anyway, then I went back to bed for a few hours um, around 7.30. So what I want to talk to you about today, something I hear a lot, I see a lot in our industry, in the massage and spa industry, and that is, you know, this idea and this feeling that our worth is somehow, hang on one second, something's on the floor. Sorry about that. So, <laughs> so the, the thought that, hi Erin, hi Amanda, the thought that our worth is what we charge for our services. And that's completely ridiculous, right? And even if we know that on an intellectual level, we might be saying things to ourselves like, don't charge less than I'm worth, or I'd have to, you know, make sure I always charge what I'm worth. And we're connecting our worth which of course is infinite and given to us by God to the worth of, of a service that we provide for people. And it's, it's silly and it can put a lot of weight and a lot of attachment to, you know, to what we charge and to whether or not people take us up on our offer of you know, what we have to offer. So, so I like to think of it like, you know, think about all the times in your life somebody asks you like, hey, do you want this? And you say, no, thanks. Well, you're not saying no thanks to that person and they don't have their worth tied up in, um, in that transaction. You know, if you drive through McDonald's and the young lady's like, hey, do you want fries with that? And you're like, no, no, thanks. I'm not into fries today. She's not like, oh my gosh. She doesn't think I'm worth paying $2 for fries to, you know, but we do this to ourselves and we put all of this extra stress and pressure on ourselves and we can even limit ourselves a lot by doing this. So, you know, an example I thought of is I used to do quite a few house calls and people would call and they'd say, we have four people. Can we have a discount? Now I charged $150 to go to a house call. But you know, for four people, I think it's very reasonable to ask for a discount, you know? So I'd say, yeah, I'll come do, do all four massages for $500. Now, if I said I'm worth $150 and not a penny less, and then I give that discount, what I'm doing in that moment is saying, I'm not as valuable as I thought I was. Now, your value doesn't change. Your value doesn't change if you do a massage for $30. Your value doesn't change if you do a massage for $300. Your value does not change. It's the value of that service in that moment in time. And when we can separate those two things, we have so much more freedom. We have so much more freedom to make more offers to people. Um, we, we have so much more freedom to make offers to people. We have more freedom to to sell. Sorry, I got distracted by a comment. I got to turn comments off when I do these because I find them a bit distracting. But we're going to put ourselves out there more because we're not going to be taking it personally. Whatever happens, happens because it isn't personal. And when we say $100 an hour is what I'm worth, then if somebody doesn't want to give us that, it is personal. So we can separate ourselves. We can say, I, of course, am infinitely valuable. What I charge has nothing to do with my value. You know, we don't put monetary value on human beings. We've done that before. It was not good. 
you know, so you don't, don't put a monetary value on yourself or on your time, you know, put that monetary value on the service and disconnect emotionally, spiritually from that. And that will give you freedom to be more successful, to take more chances and to, you know, to be out there in the world more because you're, you're not going to be hurt by whatever happens. If you're attached to that, if you're emotionally and spiritually attached to your worth and your prices together, then you're going to be hurt when somebody doesn't take you up on those prices. Yesterday I was talking to a book coach um, and I, you know, I want to have an Amazon bestseller. That's one of my goals for 2021 and their strategy to having an Amazon bestseller. You know, it's not just about writing a great book. You can write a pretty average book and have a bestseller. It's about choosing the right title. It's about choosing the right keywords. It's about writing the right book description. It's about getting enough people to buy it on the first day when you start promoting it. So I was, so there are people that help you do this. And she has different levels of service to help your book become an Amazon bestseller. Well, her services start at $6,000. And I didn't know her prices. I was like, you know, one thing I always do in my life is I get all the information. I'm like, okay, well, I probably can't afford her services. I kind of thought that maybe that was true. But I was like, but I don't know until I talk to her. And she has a free call offer. So I'm going to talk to her and see what she has to offer. You know, maybe she has a smaller package that I can get into. So, you know, she said, well, my, my, co my done for you services are from 6,000 to $18,000. Um, but I had told her about my business and she said right off, she said, I don't think that's for you with the prices that you charge. I don't think it'll be a good investment for you. And I was like, yeah, I, I agree. Um, and she said she had a home study program where she taught you how to do all the things and her home study program was $300. So I was able to get in on that. And then I asked her if she had, um, you know, just like a one-off coaching session in case I get halfway through the program and I have questions. And she said, I'll put those together for you and I'll give, and I'll give them to you. So she made a whole list of options for for one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions but my whole point is which I'm getting to at no point did I think she's not worth six thousand dollars or she's not worth eighteen thousand dollars my only thought was oh bummer I don't have eighteen thousand dollars to pay somebody to make my book an Amazon bestseller my my thought was that must be a very valuable service and she's got great results and great reviews from her previous customers. Good for her charging that much, right? But I didn't tie like, oh, she's not worth it. I never thought that one time. So we think that people are thinking that about us, right? That we are not worth it. But they have whatever reasons they have for purchasing our services or not purchasing our services, which have absolutely nothing to do with us. So a way to disconnect your services from your self-worth is to stop saying things like, I charge what I'm worth. You know, just in your mind or even when you're speaking out loud, start to take notice of that and start to say things like, you know, oh, my, you know, my headache reduction package is worth a thousand dollars. My, you know, my one hour Swedish massage is worth $70 and that's what that service is worth what you've decided it's worth what the marketplace you know helps to decide it's worth whatever you know factors you want to put into making that decision but it's not you right so just in your mind and as you're saying things try to disconnect and and not use that terminology of I'm worth this and I'm worth that and that person didn't want to pay me what I was worth when they when they asked if they could have it for $49 or whatever it was. The other thing you can do is just kind of, you know, do a little meditation, maybe when you're going to sleep at night and, and just work on making that separation. So picture, you know, a cord between yourself and all of your products and services that you offer. And right now, you know, you feel like they're attached 
to your your worth and then you know you can picture asking God to cut those cords um, Archangel Michael he's a good one to come and cut cords you can picture like just some big golden scissors just cutting those cords and keep doing that until you really feel like yes I have disconnected these two concepts in my mind and now I have that great boundary in place you know I teach an ethics class on boundaries and boundaries are a line that separates so separate your self-worth from the value of your services because they are separate and boundaries are what creates freedom in our lives right having those good boundaries so um, so I hope that that's helpful to you guys and I want to share with you what I'm offering currently and that is my massage and spa success complete collection of all my courses and all my marketing content I've never offered this all packaged up together before um, and I have it on sale through January 1st so I'll drop a link to that in the comments if you get in today you get a free one-hour coaching session with me which is $199 value that's what I charge for it um, and and I would love to talk with you about things like this about your business goals about your prices whatever it is that you want to talk about so that you are ready to go with a plan for 2021 so let me know if you have any questions on that and I will see you guys later bye